this down so I can actually see what's going on here. Okay, welcome. I am Becca Maria with Becca Maria EOS, which stands for Essential Oils. And I am uh, super excited to get on here tonight to talk to you guys about um, the second session in this Gatekeeper series. Okay, and it's going to be all about having a healthy home habits. So um, we are, this is a part of a three part series called the gatekeeper series. The first video, if you missed it, it is on my Facebook page, um, on Becca Maria EOS. And it is the first class is all about your mental and spiritual gates that you want to make sure you're only letting through, which you want to be let through. Um, you can go check all of that out on the other video. Um, you can also go click the link in my website. Um, I'll post that in the comments whenever I'm all done. You can go check that out and um, actually sign up for the whole series, which will give you access to all of these videos, all of the worksheets that go along with um, these videos and these sessions. These sessions are completely free right now because this is my trial run here. Um, after that, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, um, so like I said, this is the second one. It's all about healthy home habits. The third session is going to be all about the food you put into your body okay, and how that can affect uh, just your overall home, your overall health and wellness for your family. So I always like to focus on and really remind you guys, especially if you're a mom, you are the gatekeeper to your home. Okay. That is your job is to take care of your home, to take care of your family. Your, your, your husband's helpmate, which includes making sure that what you're letting into your home is what you really want to be in your home. Okay. That is your job. So today we're actually going to kind of get down into the nitty gritty. Um, the last session was all about kind of the mental spiritual mindset, um, which can be a little bit more ambiguous because it's not so like hands-on. Um, so Today, tonight, we are actually going to cover how to transform your home. So there's some questions that I'm going to, I'm going to be asking you guys, and I'm going to actually show, uh, oh, I got to click on the zoom and then we're going to do, we're going to share my screen. Come on over here and we are going to share this. Okay, and I'm going to make sure it's all looking good over here. Okay. Hopefully that's going correctly. Okay. And so, welcome to the Gatekeeper Series. Okay, so some questions I want you to think through. Okay, I want you to analyze just a typical day in your life. Okay. Do you have brain fog? Do you have skin sensitivities? Can your kids like not focus at all? Um, do some of you have stomach issues? Do some of you have allergies? Do some of you maybe have asthma? Maybe you're just, you're just tired. You're just exhausted all the time. And when I'm asking you these questions, okay, these are things that I used to struggle with as well. Okay. And it used to just be one of those things that I just, I just accepted it. Okay. And it was just like, this is just my life. Like I will just always have allergies. I will always just struggle with, um, with being tired or being exhausted all the time. Okay. So I don't know if this will play my story. Hi, <laughs> thanks for watching my one minute story. Um, I am getting on because my whole life I have had issues with this stuff behind me. Normally I can't sit in it. I just can't. And one day my sister was like, hey, Becca, you should get this kit with these natural products in it. And I was like, okay. So I did. I got it. And I started playing around with them. You guys, besides that, I like changed my diet too, but it revolutionized how I can live and have horses and have sheep now and play with this hay. I mean, not play with it, but you know what I mean? I don't want to itch my eyeballs out. I'm not sneezing like crazy. I feel great. And I know there are a lot of you out there and you might be one of them that if this story resonates with you and you can relate to it, or you know, somebody that can, I would love to help you to be able to overcome this and not 
take over-the-counter meds that make you, your brain foggy and make you want to sleep all day because that's what I had to do. But to be able to live a full, healthy life and take care of the animals that you want to have or even just go out and hike in the woods, like all those things or playing your garden or whatever your little heart desires, I would love to share more with you about that. So call me, message me, however you want to get a hold of me. I'd love to share more. Okay, so that was just a little bit about my story, just a little snippet um, of what I struggled with. And not only was it like I had to take meds every day and I had to be careful what I came in contact with, but there were a few times we had no idea what was causing the reactions. And there were a few times that I did go into anaphylactic shock, that I did have to have a Benadryl drip. There was one time I did actually have to have epinephrine. And if you know anything about allergies, the allergies have a tendency to just get worse. Like each reaction has a tendency to get worse and worse and worse every single time. And that's just what I, I just thought, well, this is just going to be my life. I'm going to have to carry an EpiPen. I am going to have to just take an allergy med every day, which typically just made me groggy and not feel real great. And so it was like, I'm just trucking through the day. I guess it's just going to be my life. And I'm here to say, this does not have to be your life, <laughs> okay? I don't struggle with allergy symptoms really at all. There might be a few times during the season when I'm like, ooh, wow, that kind of has hit me a little differently than I'm used to, but it's not a year round thing anymore, okay? And a lot of times I know why I'm struggling with it because I haven't been good with the changes that I have made. Okay. So I am here to share with you guys today. This can apply to not just those of you that have allergies. This can apply to those of you that have brain fog that have, you know, tiredness and exhaustion. Maybe you even have um, depression. Maybe you even have anxiety. Maybe your kids can't focus and you're like, Oh, I got to put them on meds and keep them, you know, keep them medicated so that we can make it through our day and they have stomach issues and they have this and they have that. And I have this and my husband has that. Okay. Is, is this your life? <laughs> Am I talking to anybody out there? That's like that. If you're on Facebook, please be like, that's me in the comments. That's me. Okay. I'm here to tell you, you can make changes. Okay. These changes though, are not going to be miraculous. Okay. These changes are going to take work. But if you want lasting change, you have to be committed to that work. So right now I want you to tell yourself, or you can, you know, put it in the comments. I am committed to making these changes. Okay. This is why I'm doing this class because I want to help you change your whole home, the health of your home, having some healthy home habits in place. Okay. So why does, why does any of this matter? Okay. First of all, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, some of the things that are in our homes, just to give you an understanding of why this matters, why I'm talking about this. So we're going to screen share again here. Okay. Why does this matter? Okay. There are, um, poisoning, poisoning lead leads to 5,000 deaths a year in the U S. Okay. Harsh chemical exposure, like carcinogens and endocrine disruptors, um, are in almost every product that's on the market. Um, some of this is actually starting to change because people are starting to wake up to it and other companies even are starting to wake up to it. Um, there's been certain chemicals and constituents that have been allowed to be in products in small amounts. Okay, so according to the FDA, you can have this percentage of this product in your, you know, food or in the products you put on your body, in the laundry soap, in the dish soap. Okay. You can have this teeny tiny little amount and that's acceptable. That, that, that would be okay. Problem is, is that everybody is putting this teeny tiny little amount in all of your products. Well, over time, your body, okay. This, these toxins start to build up in your body. And then what happens is you have an increased risk for cancer, for developmental malformations, uh, interference with reproduction and disturbances in the immune and nerve system function. Okay. So your brain, all these things Th this, this is why I like to talk about this because starting to figure out 
which products in your home have this stuff in it will help you to start to eliminate these things. Now, this isn't going to be a quick fix. It's not going to be like, oh yeah, I cleared out all my stuff and I got in good, good stuff. And tomorrow I should feel better. Mm, takes your body a while to cleanse that stuff out. Okay. So don't be thinking, oh, cool. I can just get rid of the stuff. You, you, you you're going to have to work at it. <laughs> okay. So this is why I have put together this sheet. This is why I put this sheet um, with this course. This is the oily home makeover. And there's a box for almost every room in your house. So you've got the living room, you've got the kitchen, pantry, bedroom, bathroom, and laundry room. And for this course, okay, if you want this document, you'll need to go and sign up on my website. It's at um, getoiling.com backslash Becca Maria. Okay. And uh, like I said, I'll post it here in the comments. And in fact, I could probably go ahead and do that. Let me just do that really quick. Get oiling dot com backslash Becca Maria. Okay, so that is the website that you will go to. Hopefully that takes you to it. If you're on Facebook, I just posted that link. Um, and that's how then you can go ahead and get some of these documents. There's one that I made for your spiritual uh, and mental life as well from the first session. So take this, okay, this is gonna be part of your homework, but I'm showing it to you now so you guys can start to think through the different areas in your home and what might be in your home that is affecting your family, that is affecting you, and uh, could be the cause of some of your exhaustion or brain fog or um, allergies or asthma or any of those things. Okay, so we're going to start to walk through uh, these different areas in your home and just touch on some things. Now, I'm just going to say that a lot of times we have allowed ourselves to just think that this is just our life, that living with allergies like me, I, I'm just going to live with these allergies for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to always be tired because I'm always going to have to take these meds. Okay, I just am always going to have brain fog. I'm just going to always have migraines. Okay, we have thought these things, and it's almost like we're the frog in the boiling pot. We're just hanging out in the water and not realizing that everything we're putting on our bodies, everything we're putting in our bodies, everything that we're using in our home is contributing to the ailments in our bodies. Okay, so here is the hard truth we're going to talk about. This may, this, this is like my disclaimer. This is my, if you're not committed to this, you can bail now. <laughs> okay. So this may be painful and you may want to leave and never come back, but this is like doing house surgery in the long run. You'll thank me for pointing out the things that need changed. So let's get to it. Okay. Time to go through every area of your home and see what changes need to be made. So here we go. Okay, let's talk about the living room. Okay, and I know for some of you, you're going to immediately exit. You're going to be like, I'm gone. Peace out. We're talking about candles. I love my candles. I can't get rid of my candles. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to get rid of your candles, guys. I am saying you have to get rid of your plugins. Okay, because those are real bad for you. Okay, plugins are nothing but fragrance. Okay, plug in. So those little wall things that you plug in, and it's got like the weird oil and fragrance in it. Um, that actually, if you accidentally get it on your hands, it's like on your hands for like two weeks. Huh. In fact, I think they smell atrocious. Um, but when I say that they're nothing but fragrance, fragrance is what is basically made in a laboratory. So somebody has taken the smell of like the lavender flower, the actual lavender plant, and they have made a fake version. And that then is what they're using in these products. I'm going to tell you right up front, that is like the number one thing that I am allergic to. When I was younger, women would walk by with perfume on and it was fake fragrance. It wasn't pure essential oils like it used to be years and years and years ago. And I would immediately start to feel like that itchy throat into the ears, like immediately itchy eyes, nose started to run. Okay. These, 
<laughs> this is why I'm passionate about this stuff, you guys. Okay. You want to put pure, clean stuff in your house, especially in your living room where there's should be, it should be a nice comforting ambiance for your whole family. Like when you sit down to read at night or like for me, I homeschool. So I want my kids to be able to sit down and I don't want to worry about um, the candles that have fake fragrance, the plugins that have fake fragrance that then is affecting my kids mental ability to even think and do their schoolwork. Okay. So my thing about candles is that most of them are not made with uh, the pure products. Most of them are made uh, with basically petroleum products. And when they are, whenever you light those, they can emit a range of volatile organic compounds. Okay. And those may contain endocrine disruptors. Um, they often contain, contain synthetic fragrance, which can lead to reproductive and developmental toxicity, allergies, respiratory problems, and more. Uh, paraffin wax candles can emit toxic fumes when burned. And so there was actually a study done where they studied the quality of uh, air in someone's home compared to the quality of air outside of someone's home. And it was shown that the quality of air in someone's home is actually worse than what was outside. And this is what, this is a lot of what contributes to that. So I'm going to encourage you to ditch them unless you go buy the pure essential oils, non-paraffin candles, get rid of those plugins. There's other alternatives that you can use. And we'll talk about those later. Okay. But that is what you need to look for in your living room. So if you have your piece of paper for your oily home makeover, this one right now in living room, if you have a candle put on there, candle, if you have a plug-in, right plug again. Okay. That way, right away. Look, you're starting, you're starting your homework right away. Okay. And then we're going to move into the kitchen. I, besides my bedroom where I sleep, this is probably the one place that I spend the most time <laughs> is in the kitchen. When you have five kids, you spend a lot of time in the kitchen. You're making a lot of meals and you're, I actually, the kids do their school right there in the dining room sometimes or on the, at the kitchen counter while I'm making a meal. Okay, so you want to be really careful. What is in your kitchen? What are you putting on your dishes? What are you wiping your counters down with? Um, what are you cleaning, you know, your sink with? And what are you cleaning your table with? All these things can have those uh, toxins in them that I was just talking about earlier. So you want to watch out for like SLS um, and fragrance. Those are my two major ones that I encourage people just to flip the container over and actually read. Like, does it contain fragrance? If it contains fragrance for me, it immediately goes back on the shelf. I actually can't walk down most uh, laundry detergent aisles uh, without feeling actually kind of nauseated and sick. So, which is actually one of the perks of finally cleansing your system. It's all of a sudden you start to smell the stuff that's fake. Whenever you start to smell the stuff that's fake, you're like, oh, it just, sm it just smells atrocious. So why ditch conventional household cleaners? Here's why. We all know you read, you flip it over and they've got a warning on the back. Okay. It can irritate the skin, eyes, nose, and throat. And if that happens, like for some of them, it's like call poison control. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay. It can be highly poisonous to both humans and animals if swallowed, often contains synthetic fragrance, which can lead to reproductive and developmental toxicity, allergies, respiratory problems, and more, okay? May contain antibacterial ingredients that can encourage the development of drug-resistant superbugs, okay? So you really have to be careful with, with those kinds of things, okay? There's other ways that you can actually disinfect your countertops and it's more effective, okay? There's been tests that have been done to prove that, okay? We'll talk about that later. So that's your kitchen. So Go to your sheet and fill out in the kitchen. Maybe you need to go over and open underneath your kitchen drawers and actually pull out your cleaners, pull out your dish soap and go, what's in here that needs to go, okay? Write all those things down. Now I'm not saying toss them in the trash right now. I'm just saying step one is just writing them all down, okay? Now we are gonna move on to, is that right? Oh no, bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Okay, there we go. On to the bathroom. Here we go. Okay. The things that this, this has a big old long list. 
because we are a society that likes to be clean, which I really appreciate. Okay. We like to make sure our hair is clean, our bodies are clean, our teeth are brushed, face is washed. Um, so we're a lot of times we wash our hands, you know, after we go to the bathroom. Okay. All of these things, you need to start flipping over the back of your container and reading what it says on the back. Look for SLS, fragrance. Um, there's other few other ingredients that you're going to want to look for too. Artificial flavors and dyes. Okay, we all know that some dyes actually affect kids who have a tendency to have seizures. So that's another thing that you are going to want to pay attention to, especially if you're a mom. If you're a mom that has a kid that has seizures, you're probably very well aware of this. Okay, so some of these toothpastes could contain triclosan, uh, making it antibacterial, which can lead to allergies, hormonal issues, or even cancer. May contain artificial flavors and dyes, which think about it. The toothpaste, especially for kids, it's like, ooh, it's pink or it's sparkly or because they're trying to make it fun to make your kids brush their teeth. And sometimes those are not real great for those little bodies. Okay. And uh, typically uh, they contain fluoride, which may negatively affect the brain and central nervous system when ingested. So little, little bit about fluoride. Okay. There has, there's been studies that have been done that show like that a little bit of fluoride is good, too much is bad. So if your water has fluoride and your toothpaste has fluoride and say even your mouthwash has fluoride, okay, are we getting too much now? These are just things I want you to just ponder and think about, and you will need to come to your own conclusions on that. Um, but these are just things I want you to be aware of. Go look it up, go research it for yourself, okay? Supplements. Whew, this is a very large can of worms. So I'm only going to touch on it briefly because I don't have time to touch on it on a larger scale. Okay. And I think I'm just going to leave it to Donna who worked in the pharmaceutical industry for years. Okay. She is able to touch on these a little bit more than I can. If you're interested in learning more from her specifically, okay, uh, we do Monday meetups with Team Strong, which is a group of basically six women who have experience, like I'm all about the families. Um, Donna's about wellness from the inside out. Cairo does, she's a nurse. Um, my sister, Rachel, is all about mental, emotional support, okay? Um, one of the ladies on there is actually a cancer survivor. So her story is just phenomenal, okay? One of the other ladies is a chef. And so she really teaches people how to eat healthy and how to cook healthy, Um it's, 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 it's a dream team guys. It's a dream team, team strong. And if you want to be a part of our Monday meetups, you've got to let me know. You've got to sign up for that. So, um, conventional supplements, vitamins can be synthetically and legally produced in a lab. They're not required to come from nature. Supplements do not require FDA approval before they are sold or marketed, nor is their safety required to be proven. These are supplements, you guys supplements. Okay. Um, so I'm not talking about like vitamins and supplements. Okay. I'm not talking about prescription meds. <laughs> okay. Often contain inactive or poorly bioavailable nutrients. Um, often contain artificial sweeteners and dyes, which can lead to things like headaches, joint pain, or increased inflammation. That one of the major things that blows my mind is the sugar that they put in your cough drops, cough syrup, um, there was another one that was in my brain. Now it's gone, but they put sugar in it. You guys, sugar lowers your immune response. So if you are sick and you're popping a cough drop and it has sugar in it, you're, you're, you're kind of defeating the purpose. Okay. So you want to really check those products. Oh, gummies. That was the other thing. Like the little vitamin gummies that you can give your kids <laughs> full of sugar. So those are things you want to watch out for in the bathroom. Bedroom. Okay. This one can get kind of fun, okay? Once again, do you have candles, okay? What perfumes are you using? Some of them may contain hormone disrupting uh, phthalates, typically contain synthetic fragrance. I've kind of already touched on perfume, okay? Which can be made up of thousands of harsh chemicals, little to no safety regulations in place, okay? Perfumes are not necessarily, and body sprays too, are not necessarily monitored. Okay. Because 
in their minds, they're like, oh, it's just perfume and body spray. Okay. Often we use butane or propane as a uh, propellant, which can cause headaches or breathing issues. Um, lotions, pretty much the same thing. Um, you actually really want to be careful with your intimate items. Okay. Um, you know, because you just want to be aware, especially because you are using them in areas of your body that have lots of nerve endings that have lots of, um, sensory. It's very, they're very sensitive areas. And so you do want to be, pay attention to that of like, what am I using down there? Because it, your body will absorb it a lot quicker because the blood flow is woo, going a lot faster down there. Okay. Um, so you want to be careful what you're putting down there because it'll get in your bloodstream a lot faster. And that's all we'll say about that. <laughs> okay. Laundry room. This is one of those major, major areas that I like to talk about too. Okay. Because laundry, okay. Are you number one, don't use dryer sheets. Okay. Uh, what stain sprayer sticker are you using? Whitener, fabric softener, okay, all these things, especially the whiteners and a lot of your laundry detergent, they aren't actually cleaning your clothes even. Sometimes they're just, they're adding in that brightener to it and the brightener makes it look like your clothes are clean when really they're not. <laughs> you can go look it up, look up like brightener in laundry detergent. What does it actually do? Okay. It actually kind of like hides the stains and it doesn't actually clean it. So this is why you want to be careful with, uh, what you were using for your laundry detergent. Once again, for me, um, I have to watch out for that fragrance. If I use that fragrance, it's going to affect, um, my respiratory issues. It's going to affect my allergies. So I use a totally fragrance toxin free laundry detergent because it's going on my clothes. My clothes go on my body. Um, the sheets on my bed, I've washed them. Okay. There is, if there's anything on those, and I've gone to places where like, if I've stayed in a VRBO or even, um, a hotel, like whatever they've used, I have noticed it does start to affect me. Um, so just things you might want to start to become aware of. Okay. So once again, go back to your sheet Start to write down your things that maybe are, oh, look, there's a pantry on here. I didn't even talk about the pantry, but we'll get to that in our next meeting, okay? So bedroom, um, we've talked about the bathroom. We've just talked about the laundry room. So now we're going to, we've gone through every single box and now we are going to basically get to the bottom line, okay? So there are a lot of things that you can try and do. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. Okay, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can do what I did. Okay, when I started realizing <clears throat> I can't use fragrance, I can't have any kind of uh, chemicals around me, like it affects my allergies. So I started going, okay, I can spend a lot of money on the organic, fragrance free, um, no dyes, no fragrance, you know, no, you know, artificial fragrance. I can spend a ton of money. I can spend a ton of time and energy looking, um, or I can try and make my stuff. So for years and years and years and years, I made all my own stuff. I spent a lot of time doing that and it did save us some money too. Like that was part of my motivation is trying to save some money, but it mainly was because I needed fragrance free items in my home to use. And so I was even trying to make my own shampoo and conditioner and it just was not working really well, especially the shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> not really great. Um, but I tried everything. I went down every road. And then just when I thought I'd found a product, even I'd flip over the back and I'd be looking at it. I'm like, okay, so this one's going to work. This is going to be fine. And I'd go home and I'd use it and I'd keep buying it for months and months and months. And then after a while, I'd be like, man, I'm not feeling real great. And I'd flip over that container and it'd be like, oh, that's why. Because I've now added fragrance to this laundry detergent that I have been buying for years. And now I can't use it. Okay. So they've changed the formula. Okay. All sorts of different, different uh, reasons. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're like me. Maybe you've done that. You've researched cleaner projects. Uh, products you've made your own. I, in Russia, I made 
a cleaner that was 50% vinegar and 50% vodka. Well, let me tell you, it killed everything in that bathroom. <laughs> it was so, it smelled not great, but it did clean. Okay. Um, I spent so much time and effort only to discover either it didn't work, it didn't like it, or the company changed their ingredients. So um, you have three resources in your life. And I've talked about this before. Three resources in your life. You have time, energy, and money. So you've got to decide how am I going to use those to start to change my home so I have healthy home habits. Okay. These are the things that I found that I finally came on. Okay. Which was in my one minute story that I shared with you guys earlier in this class. Okay. This is why I finally went with Young Living. Okay. Because it's the only company to back their items with the seed to seal quality commitment. You can rest assured that you're getting a quality product made with the highest quality essential oils and other naturally derived ingredients. Okay. Anytime I use Young Living products, in fact, I was, you guys, I was blown away when I took a whiff of like, you know, lavender or whatever other essential oil I have in here, like clary sage, like took a whiff of it. And I didn't immediately feel that like allergic reaction happening. And that's when I was like, well, this is kind of cool. I get to wear nice smelling things and not have an allergic reaction. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. So this, this is, this is why I went with them. I was like, well, if their products are going to make it so that I can have nice smelling stuff on my body and in my home and not have an allergic reaction. Yeah. We're going to go with that. And so that's why I went with that. So just wanted to share with you one um, kit. So if you have gone through your sheet and now with your sheet, you're like, okay, I can see, I need to start replacing some of these products. This is a kit that you can get. It's the Thieves Home Loyalty Bundle. Okay. And it has pretty much everything to at least get you started. So there's a laundry detergent. There's this um, Thieves Scrub. That stuff is amazing. I've done several reels with it because it scrubs my stove so well. I'm like, I'm never going back to anything else. Okay. Um, the dish soap, there's a hand soap, there's the thieves fruit and veggie wash, and then there's the thieves cleaner. Okay. This kind of gets you started. Um, and it's a really great deal. Okay. And then once you're started, then you can start to look at things. So then you can get on their what's called their loyalty program. So then the next month, as a part of your loyalty order. So your monthly order, you can add shampoo, conditioner, soap. Okay. And when you place your second loyalty order of at least 50, which would basically be all of your personal care products, then you get a free diffuser. Okay. So this is a kit that I recommend that people get if you're like, yeah, I'm ready to make some changes. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that to you. If you're interested in this, I'm just going to post the link for it in the Facebook page so that you guys can just go click on that link and just go ahead and grab it and get going on actually completing your homework. So here's your homework. Okay. Go through your oily home makeover sheet. Okay. And you're, like I said, if you want this sheet and you want it PDF printable and not just screenshotted and then printed out real funky, all you have to do is go over to my website. And click on my website, find the uh, change your home. Okay. Sign up for the gatekeepers course and this, you can get this for free. Okay. That's how you get this. So you're going to fill in each room, go through each room, fill out your, fill out what you need to change, what products you want to get rid of. Okay. And then you're going to decide on one to three items that need changed now. Okay. I'm not saying one to three items in each room. Pick one room or maybe three rooms and you take one thing from each room, okay? That would be then you basically would be getting your Thieves Home loyalty bundle here, okay? And you can get, you can just start to change those now, okay? The other thing you can consider if you're like, nah, I don't really want to buy that, which I'm not sure why you wouldn't, um, is you can make all this stuff. I actually have recipes if you want to make all this stuff. I finally decided I didn't have the time 
or energy to make all this stuff. So that is why I finally decided to choose my using my money to purchase the thieves products to purchase through Young Living. And I'm going to say I have pretty much nailed how to make this work for a family of seven. Okay. So before you go telling me, oh, it's so expensive. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you can make it stretch and last and it still is high quality. Okay. And I have all the tips and tricks on how to make that happen. You just need to start following me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and you can start to get and glean all of those tips and tricks. Okay. Over time, remember this is a marathon. Okay. This is not a sprint one thing at a time. Okay. So that's your homework. Go sign up for the class gatekeeper series, um, get your, um, oily home makeover sheets, as well as your spiritual and mental, uh, makeover sheets, start to fill those out start to figure out what you want to change in your life in your heart and your mind, in your home. And then on the, on November 29th, we will be doing the last in the gatekeeper series. And I have finally entitled this one, the food journey. Okay. Um, because let me tell you, it is a food journey. <laughs> okay. So I know there's a lot of people out there who have gone through diet change. Who've like realized I've got to change what I'm eating, um, maybe even how often, uh, what we're eating. And um, sometimes that can be a, a big, big challenge. Okay. And I know a lot of people who've been very successful, who have food allergies, who've decided to totally kick sugar and flour completely out of their diet. People who've decided to kick dairy and beef out of their diet. Okay. So there's a plethora of options out there. So if you're like, I don't even know what to eat anymore. There, there are options. Okay. Um, there's a lot of recipes out there. There's a lot of people out there who can help you through that journey of this is how I, what I need to eat and how I need to eat. Um, that was one of the first steps I had to take in my journey to get rid of my allergies was actually changing my diet. So, um, stay tuned. November 29th is when we're going to do that series. Cause I want to give people time to actually go and fill out both of your, both of your worksheets. Okay. So, uh, once again, I'm going to post in the comments here, the links that you need to be able to access those, uh, oily home makeover and spiritual mental makeover sheets. And, uh, I think that's just about it. Remember to go like, and follow and share this with anybody that you're like, Oh, so-and-so needs to hear this. She needs to be encouraged to start to change some things. Or maybe as a friend that's been asking you questions, you guys have been dialoguing, like, how should we do this? And so maybe this is the place to start. And I would actually say that it, that it is. So uh, that is it. I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for hanging out and we will talk to you guys later.